So this is good start for me, obviously. And this is best item you can buy turn one because it basically makes one of your heroes immortal. So I go fight in front since I have more gold. So I have better items. So now tricky part is I have all creeps here. So, while I'm having the green hero somewhere else completely so I cannot cast Armed Rebellion which kinda sucks. So triple arm, like I will just use one here for tempo. And I guess we buff this hero. Um, do we like the one guard? We just chum block this Debbie. You got some bits from DPM. Oh. DPM just cheered with 100 bits. Thanks for hosting it. Uh, thanks for joining me today uh, in the in the stream. Um, it's really I'm very really glad that we had you here in the tournament. So, so yeah, I'm glad you attended. So I guess we buffed this hero. And so now the question is, do we buff a champ with the one guard? I think actually we do. Like we give Hotmia one gold for for one HP here, so it's about even. I would say. I think this card was close to useless, so we saved 9 HP on tower. Now we suddenly grab initiative in this line. So what a turnaround. So here I just cast arm. And the swap is also amazing because uh, both of these creeps will survive. Or no, no, he's not gonna survive. So now the question is, do I wanna uh, stay alive with Rebel? I can, I can swap these two. So I guess I immediately send the Skyrev here to contest the wolf, otherwise he can go and grow over my head. I can just put minus armor on Lycan so he got minus armor as well and shoot him with the musket. Here I just cast another armed rebellion. Because these creeps goes to two armor so they will be untouched with his creeps. Exos is here very strong though because if he casts a blue spell he deals one piercing damage so armor doesn't work against it. So Thunderstorm can be pretty pretty juicy on this line next turn because it will kill both Rylis. Here. So the question is do I even want to use the short sword? Because it might be better to kill it next turn at the beginning of combat. Uh, so I need to use Musket here to shoot the shoot a guy. Shoot a wolf. So that's where I need to use the short sword, uh, uh, the musket. Like here, I start with swapping to run away. I think it's way better to kill both black heroes at the same time next turn because that denies him from playing black stuff basically forever. So I just shoot a wolf to stay alive during the combat. Maybe I should save initiative after for for this thunderstorm because it's so so crucial to cast it. Because it kills like two black heroes and otherwise I just completely lose this line. If he use like pick off or yes, just pick off though as an out. You can send green hero and intimidate. Like, I need to shoot this wolf, but if he use something here, then I can really consider not using Armed Rebellion and, and instead keep the priority. 
what was what was this? Like now I'm surviving. That, that was very stupid in my opinion. Now also we have an initiative, so we can do this and play armed rebellion. But maybe we can just keep initiative. But it's he's just one out. Like this guy has four HP. If he had only three and he would die to no accident, then it would be nonsense. But now. He already used the pickoff, so so I ran, r fly away from here to not die to Zeus spell. And now I cast Armed Rebellion, which saves this guy and buff all of these. Do we want to cast uh, use Short Sword, or do we save it for Swen? I think this guy is about to die in two turns anyway, so Short Sword is not necessary. So extra card or short sword? Hmm, I guess extra card. Like this is uh, way better against intimidation. If he intimidated my blue hero, then I want a swine fighting here. And if he intimidates my blue hero, it's gonna be a disaster because because. Um, Because I have no way how to save this tower. He runs one intimidation, so. Okay, maybe I should have kept the initiative here. Like, but I completely won this lane because of it, so it's very hard to tell. So where do we want to put a short sword? On Swan? Or on Jumui? Like, uh, we, sh we probably should put it somewhere. If he goes for seven, and he's gonna die anyway. So I guess here it's fine. He pushed you to tower and in, in the future it's really good to get, have the spam Swan buffed. Okay, another wolf. This is obviously annoying. So am I happy now? I think he should do something. What if he cast friendly fire and both of these die? It's a disaster, I guess. He has one friendly fire. So would we like rebel first? I think we want to keep, keep. Uh, maybe we could start with Empower here. Okay, now we do that. I give us friend of fire. He kills these two units. That's gonna be annoying. Hmm. Yeah, this game is so close, like these wolves are so so good. So I guess I should run away with uh, Rebel Decoy. Once because the, the Zeus is about to take free cleave damage while, and B because the, the Rebel is not gonna be shot with the Zeus next turn if he casts a spell. So where there will be the highest fight, um, that's where I will put the arena. Maybe I can just put God Strength, but I think the arena should draw me here some cards. And here it will draw a card in case he has Thunder God, but I guess it will draw the card anyway here. Pretty annoying. So 
I guess I put Arena here to immediately draw two. And this goes to 7 HP. If we put this, it goes to... to 3 HP, so I can give it minus armor and kill it. Instead of drawing two cards. It's pretty super crucial in terms of staying alive on this line. Okay. So here I want to play Swap and probably Armed Rebellion. Or the Martyr. Like the Thunder God is amazing for him. Okay, now it's good because he got buffed. So he survived the Thunder God right now. Okay, another wolf is super annoying. Like we have more cards, but we are really falling a lot of behind. So now I should immediately fly away from here to not die to Thunder God. The other option is to buff the creeps. Like this creep is about to die though. And we probably win this line anyway. Okay, let's just do this. I, I'm actually happy probably that Far One will die here. Because I should win this line anyway. Even without Hera, so it should help a lot. So so now this guy can shoot this creep. I will go fight here. Because if I get a... Like hopefully he will not get the healing, healing item out of the side shop. That's probably super, super crucial. So now Mystic Flare is killing these units. Like if the game will be long we win on resources, but now he has a momentum and he needs to melt it into victory. And he didn't buy anything, that was really crucial. Ah, okay, intimidation sucks completely. Okay. So we lost the line. It's annoying. Okay, so now we can kill these three units. Okay, that's good, I guess. So we have double battlefield control, so we can kill the wolf. Kill the hero. Definitely want a short sword here. A battlefield control makes sense. Killing the wolf instead of creep. How good it is? It's fine, I guess. Now we can shoot a Zeus. So I would love to push both towers now. Rebellion is too extra. Now we are not pushing here because of this arrow. Here we have quite clean push. So 
Should we draw two and play Armed Rebellion? So we need to fight uh, here for a turn. That <sighs> like we could have considered putting Swan here to completely prevent him from pushing for a day, but. Thirteen, seventeen. It's not enough, so there is no reason to put it right. Yeah, if there wouldn't be this arrow, we would have lethal. So I keep the the creep for chum block. Like um, I should put the cloaks on the heroes in the middle. Huh? Or at least on this one. So now I just need to defend in front. I have a chum blocker. I have a. I have a shoot on this creep. You already use the intimidation. There are a lot of arrows. That's sweet. He shouldn't have a way how to kill my hero immediately, right? He can hip. He doesn't have free hip fire. Okay, that's cool. He has oath. So we have one chum blocker. So can we give minus armor and shoot something? We can't yet. So should be smashing the space bottom now until he has lethal. So this is preventing ten. It was important to kill the, heal the creep in case he has no accident. Now he's missing 20. This is still fine. This is still fine. And we still have a chum blocker in case we need. Now we can also give this creep minus armor and shoot it. So this is chumping most, right? We can shoot this creep as well. Like the previous turn, it was really important that we got arrow on the Magnus, otherwise, it would have lethal immediately. So now we should be fine. And we can kill this, and he would need an extra. Okay, amazing game! Versus helped me out, and in the whole tournament. Like, it's very nice that we were able to grab 3-0 victory